Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Butcha Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos several times a week. Click the like, click the like. Oh friends. Oh friends. Um, okay. So what happened was, was I had to go grocery shopping today and I was going to be near my Hobby Lobby and if you haven't watched my other part one and part two hauls from their yarn clearance sale 2023, please go ahead and watch them. They're amazing. And a lot of you have come from that. So uh, welcome new subscribers. So I was near the Hobby Lobby and I thought, okay, well, the markdowns happened a few days ago and I never got to see the rest of the markdowns at my particular store. I just went in to see what was left and see if there was anything I wanted. How could I not? I wasn't getting to get any more, but they had some stuff that I could not pass up. So here we are. So this is Hobby Lobby Yarn Clearance Sale 2023, part three, the end. It's gotta be the end. Whew, it's hard. If you're a yardie like me and you know about the sale, it's hard. And I went to my normal store. They had stuff that I wanted. So now I'm done. And I even put a bunch of stuff in my cart and put it back. So this time I only spent $25.42 before tax. And I bought this bag. So $25 more on clearance yarn. And it all fit in one bag. First thing I was so excited about, more Chloe yarn. They had four of them. I don't know what it was still doing there. One of them doesn't have a BAM ball, but that's okay. They have four more of the Chloe in Breezy Sunrise. Now I hauled this last time. It is 270 yards and it is 70 wool, 30 viscose. These are not this one's the only one that's like still nice. Maybe that's why people didn't get them. This one doesn't even have a ball band, but I knew it was the same color and she let me have it. Also, there were three, one, two, three, uh, hand dyed Hanks that they did not mark down that are supposed to be marked down, just hanging there. But I didn't bother anyone about them because I don't need them. <sighs> I don't need them. Okay, cool, I was right. So I picked up two of this on my haul from Tuesday from the other store. So now I've got six of these breezy sunrises, which is enough for a sweater, enough for a beautiful sweater. And that was kind of my goal. I was trying to find things where I have enough to make a project. Now I've got enough Chloe in this color to make a sweater. Let me see if I can hold them all up at once. They're so beautiful. So what? six times two, 12, $12. Originally $7.99 each, $8 each. I'm really excited about that. So it's in such beautiful springy colors. It's like a, almost a pastel rainbow, but not quite. Cause there's no like yellows or anything. It's got like blues, pinks, grays. Super pretty. They had four today and I had two from the other day. Whew, I just, I'm kind of in disbelief because if you buy from this sale, you know that the Chloe always goes first. I'm not exactly sure why no one bought this, but I have it now. It's probably because it is a little worse for wear, but I don't care about that. All right, so I almost bought more Pima Suprema in a pink color and it was a dollar fifty a, a ball. But then I found a pink color in cotton a lin in the color rouge for a dollar twenty four. So I got that instead. Now I know what I said before 
I'm not, I wasn't going to get any more cotton and linen blend because if I did that, I already had some that I'm working on from last year, but I really wanted these colors and I have this like idea in my head for a top in this color with like some fluttery shoulders. How pretty would that be? Like some really pretty crocheted, lacy, fluttery shoulders. Five dollars for a, enough for a top is a great deal. Then I was so excited because at my last store, can you tell that maybe that one's a different dye lot at the end? That's okay. You won't be able to tell when it's worked up. There we go. At my last store that I went to, they only had two of these and I ended up putting them back because I wanted enough to make a project. So this is more Cotton A. Lynn. They're both 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 180 yards, 165 meters, 20% linen, 80% cotton. So yeah, I, I couldn't believe that the cotton is more expensive. The Pima cotton was more expensive than the cotton and linen, but whatever, I don't mind. I'll pay less. This color is called Apple Cider. So pretty. I thought that that would look really pretty on my skin. So I've got four of those as well. Five dollars. Five dollars. Beautiful. Okay, just one more thing. One more thing and that's the end of my Hobby Lobby haul. But I couldn't believe it. So. I thought that the only color that they had in this on sale this year was orange and not like a burnt orange, like an obnoxious orange. So I wasn't going to get it, but alpaca twist, they had it and I've never used it before. And it's in this beautiful mushroom color called pecan, pecan, wherever you're from in the country, it's either pecan or pecan. I don't have a preference, so you call it whatever you want. And it was only $1.24 each. And they had six of them, which should be enough. It's 175 yards. It should be enough to make a sweater. Maybe. I might have to put different cuffs on it, but I have other stuff I could put with this, but it should be enough to make a sweater. It's more of a bulky, like five ish. What do they put it as? They don't put it as anything. Six and a half crochet hook. Yeah. I mean, I might be able to eke a sweater out with six of them. So yeah, it's 10% alpaca, 90% acrylic. So it's not a lot of alpaca, but if you know me, if you've been around, you can see my sweater here. I made this one and it is 100% rabbit. It's uh, Angora and it's so fluffy. I love that. I love a halo on a sweater. And this from the Angora, or sorry, from the alpaca absolutely has it. So I'm excited about that. Maybe something a little bit more flowy. As you know, I'm trying to make a sweater a month. I may change that in the summer because it gets, you know how it gets really hot in California to just a top a month. I think that's still a good compromise. Uh, a sweater a month is a lot and it, it gets really hot in the summer to like be working with wool and stuff. But now I've got enough to make a sweater out of the alpaca in a color that I love and it was only a dollar 24 and then I've got enough to make a sweater out of the Chloe and breezy sunrise and I thought that would be so pretty for spring the colors beautiful a top out of the apple cider linen and a top out of the rouge and the linen wow so I spent as I mentioned 25 more dollars on yarn and I don't know what the retail value is. Hold up. I'll, I'll do the math and I'll be right back. Whoo guys. Hobby Lobby has me all over the place this week. Okay. I'm just glad that it's this week because I, I'm just glad I caught it. It can be hard to catch if you're not like in on the yarn 
Anyway, so I spent $25 pre-tax and retail value pre-tax is $106 for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, for 18 skeins. Uh, $106 retail, $25 sale price. Whew! Okay. And for this, um, for some of the yarn bees, they still say, sorry, not yarn bees, the Chloe's. Some of them are still $6.99 and some of them are $7.99. So I just counted them as $7.99 because that's the current price anyway. Okay, that's it. That is my final, final, final. Don't make bets in the comments if I'll go back because I don't need to go back. I'm not going to a further away store than I've already have. I am done. And if I go back, I'll eat my shoe. There were a few more things I put in my cart um, and I put back. There was some uh, Breathe Easy. It was 99 cents each and I thought, okay, that would be a cute sweater, but it was kind of like a weird orange, so I didn't do that. There were some warm something that was acrylic polyester blend. I ended up not getting that either. I was going to make a sweater out of that, but I really wanted to stick to trying to have natural fibers in the blends and I did that and I'm happy with my purchase. So what is that? So in total, everything this year, a savings of $575. I'm not mad. Saving almost $600 in yarn and I'm set. I am set for the year. So unless somebody gifts it to me or it's a special occasion, I don't need to get anything else. I've got everything that I need. So I'm really grateful for that. What did you get? I know a lot of people here are watching and going shopping. So in the comments, please let me know what you got. What was your favorite? I think my favorite out of this, well, obviously the Chloe. I can't believe they have more of that. Um, I love this color. Hey, uh, friends, my video uh, camera just died, my, cam my battery, so I'm just going to say goodbye to you here. Thank you so much for watching my haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. So exciting to get amazing clearance every year, and I will see you next time. Bye.